If there's any tech company that is at the forefront of an electric mobility revolution, it's Rivian. On this episode of All Things Automotive, we're going under the hood to look at their fleet management system and connectivity platform. And then we'll look around the corner with AWS's GM of Automotive for some expert insight about the industry's increased focus on software-defined customer experiences and sustainability. Let's get moving. Go on a cloud innovation journey with me, Stefano Marzani, as I'm joined by guest experts and mobility leaders to look at the drivers of transformation on all things automotive. On today's episode, I'm thrilled to welcome John from Rivian. Welcome, John. Thank you, Stefano. Happy to be here. Yeah, it's awesome to have you and Rivian here right uh, to, in, in the show. It's just fantastic. You have a vision and a mission. It's very consistent with that. Am I right? Yes, yes. Rivian exists to create products and services that help our planet transition to carbon neutral energy and transportation. We're unique because we design, develop, and manufacture uh, the vehicle, which is very important when it comes to hardware, the software, and we're also building all the services that are included for our customers. We're also uh, not just having consumers as our customers, but also commercial customers as well. So this is very unique when it comes to the type of products and services we have to build. That seems so beyond what the auto traditional automotive is doing. So what are the specific pain points you are trying to address? One of the first is the purchasing options. Um, both consumers and commercial customers um, often have not purchased an EV before. So there's a lot of hesitancy, there's a lot of caution they have in that first time purchase. So it's critical for us to really understand their needs. What are what do they want to see in terms of the purchasing tools? What do they uh, need to experience in terms of bringing vehicles into their fleet um, with a lot of non-EV. That's one of the first challenges that we've really tried to solve with even Rivian guides um, that we assign to you as, as you place an order with us. Yeah. Uh, you have a Rivian guide that's assigned to and he's, you. He's gonna, he or she is going to call me? Yeah. If yeah, I purchase yeah, it, so say, hey, Stefano, I just, uh, you just did it. Yeah. How is it going? Yeah. <laughs> you might become best friends with them. That's <laughs> happened sometimes. And so another challenge is, is the fleet management services, right? Um, making sure the safety elements are there, the financing elements, the um, insurance options uh, for some of these vehicles. Because, uh, again, a, a, not a lot of comfort when somebody's purchasing an EV vehicle and we're really trying to make that easy for them. Yeah. And then last is we're, we're an outdoor adventurous company wow. at heart. And uh, we're putting uh, not just vehicles in, in random places uh, via our customers, but also charging. And yeah. so connectivity is is really a challenge out there. And so we're doing a lot of fun things there. Yeah, to make sure can we're, imagine. We're connected. Two keywords that I frequently hear talking with Rivian is uh, clean sheet and in vertical integration. What does that mean? Yeah, so clean sheet is basically we've started from zero. Zero, scratch. <laughs> and, 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 and not just uh, the hardware, which is the key um, fundamentals of getting all the data up to all the services but also the platforms. And so uh, we have a world-class team of hardware, software engineers that have um, built our fleet OS platform. And um, this has allowed us to, to own um, the experience uh, to the customers. We, we don't involve dealerships um, and we're offering the services um, to the customers, such as scheduling services, uh, maintenance and health of the vehicle. And, and really getting all that rich data up into um, our offerings that we'll talk about today. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You just mentioned Fleet OS. Mm. Can you tell us what it is? Yes, yes. So Fleet OS is our clean sheet, vertically integrated business orchestration platform. There That's you go. That's how we describe it. And it covers four key areas uh, for our fleet customers. Purchase, drive, operate, and sell. And sell is one that often people don't think about. They get excited about their vehicle, but from yeah. a fleet and operational perspective as a business, you got to think about at some point, we have yeah. to sell this vehicle. And so how do we do that? How can we be assured that when we purchase our vehicles from Rivian, um, that that we can sell them if, if we're a fleet operator? So, so Yeah, pretty cool. And is this for uh, just, uh, you know, for uh, vans or vans and passenger cars and maybe something else? Good question. 
good question. I love this. This is one of my favorites. And so we built out the single pane of glass within our fleet OS to not just manage the Rivian vehicles, but also ICE vehicles, which we call mixed fleet management. And so this is, again, a very important concern that we've heard from our customers. Yes, we love our EV vehicles, but we have to have... Yeah, we have something vehicles. else. We still. Have, yeah, we already have a fleet that we've invested in. So can you build tools for us to manage, um, again, those four key areas, not just the purchasing and driving and operation of the vehicles that we already have, but... Um, also, the Rivian vehicles all in, in, in one platform, and, and we're, we're happy to bring Fleet OS to market in doing so. That's absolutely fantastic. You say that, uh, you know, we start to see these elements of the vertical integration, not just the vehicle, but natively a fleet management solution that comes with that, right? And, you know, and, and expands outside, right, the Rivian's only vehicle. So that's just fantastic. I think that uh, connectivity plays a big role. In yes. that, right? Because you, you continue to talk about large amount of data for OTA, but maybe even from ADAS, from collecting data from the vehicles. So, how do you manage that? And can you talk uh, a bit about CMP? Yes, personally, this is my favorite topic, and I think one of the biggest challenges in the market because it's often looked past, and most people think everything just works seamlessly. Yeah, you have uh, your uh, 4G <laughs> LTE connectivity. I'm done. Mm, no. no, no, not at all. Not so, at all. There's large data files. There's the rich data set we already talked about for fleet and fleet services. It's the same for data and data management. And starting all the way at the SIM, through the chipset, through the module, through the TCU in the vehicle, and then taking all that sensor data in. And, and really, you have to look at the software elements and the APIs, even at the device management capability, to be able to have full control of all the components yeah. in the vehicle. So how we look at our strategic partnerships and all our vendors is what APIs can we get to get into robust management of not just the connectivity, but the device management and the OTA capabilities. How do we manage yeah. that in a single pane of glass yeah. on the connectivity side? And then we can have all those services on top that we've been yeah. discussing. And you mentioned something else that I, th I think is very important to, to call out. It's not just the vehicles, it's also charging. Oh, yeah. And there's also mass IoT devices. So with data traffic doubling just in the last two years in the industry, um, there's an exponential amount of use cases that have more and more need to, to monitor connectivity, to do device management in the field, to do the firmware updates in the field. And we're really excited to get into many more device types, uh, including working with your Amazon devices team than just vehicles. We feel we've tackled the vehicle first. It's one of the most complex. No other IoT device has more sensors. Yeah. And so if we've, if we've done the hardest part first, we look forward to doing many more verticals. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, the car is a very complex IoT device, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. But it's awesome, and uh, it's such a vision to say, yeah, it's just a no car, it's IoT. Yeah. So, and uh, this platform, it's a good platform. Why don't you use it for managing your power plant, your appliance at home, or whatever it is, and deals with the grand vision that you have depicted at the beginning. So, mm -hmm. it all makes sense. John, it's just such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for the time and really appreciate talking tech with you. Thank you. So, Wendy, it's such a pleasure having you here. You are the leader of our automotive team uh, in AWS. Thanks for having me, Stefano. There's one aspect that really struck me, that is their laser-focused obsession on a specific customer target and just provide the best absolute experience for that specific target. But I think it's kind of a trend, right? It's a tension right now on user experience. I couldn't agree with you more. Um, digital customer experience and the engagement that it brings is really around customer reach, convenience, and personalization. It's so broad, yet it's so deep with so many complexities. And key to doing it and what we're seeing our customers focus on is how you deliver relevant marketing content, intelligent digital experiences, and real-time data analysis with really good insights that offer great recommendations for that customer experience. And again, personalization is at the core of all of it. And in doing that both online and offline. 
it's just great to have you here to comment what we just uh, discussed with our customers from Rivian. Since you just had them here in the show, really focused on customers. They're on customers through their brand, through their vehicle, and in their customer service centers. It's a great example of how that customer focus and the relationship throughout the entire um, aspect that they have with you and the entire journey yeah, they is have, it's, so it's important. Rivian guide, right? Yes. So. Yeah. And as they do that, they're thinking about high quality voice experiences, interactive chat experiences from anywhere in the world on every channel, chats, websites, phones, right? Awesome. Giving a unified experience yeah, so that it's seamless. And the user is at the center. The customer is there at the always. center of all this attention. Always. Designed around them. Yeah. And always, it seems like a personal relation, right? It's amazing. And uh, But uh, I, if I think about what they said about their mission, that's another part that is absolutely mind-blowing, right? So this customer attention, but in the context of not just a car company, but a tech company focused at, you know, ecology, for sustainability, reducing and you know, doesn't have a carbon emission. Uh, that's just awesome, right? Is this another trend in the sector? Absolutely. First, um, we we see tremendous focus on both consumers and fleet owners. Yes. Right. There's they're different. And they personas. are the perfect example. They have cars yes. and vans. That's true. <laughs> and we see everything from hybrids to full partial hybrids and full electric vehicles. And we mm -hmm. need to think about the experience and what comes with each of those types of vehicles. But what is really key, no matter what type of vehicle you have, is the data. And how do you put the data to work for you? Diagnosing and solving operating issues in the vehicle real time, again, around the vehicle itself and the experience that it brings you, that's really important. You can use this to optimize at the system level. Yes. Maybe. Optimizing vehicle routing, battery life charging, range estimations. Yes. All of those are really important. This is absolutely so uh, so exciting. And talking about trends, what are some of the other trends uh, you saw? So much. But when you talk about um, DC, the digital customer experience that we're bringing to customers, it's about focused on deeply understanding yeah. the customer and knowing and managing and cultivating that relationship throughout the lifetime of that customer's journey, we call it. So it's no longer about the moment I'm, I'm selling you mm -hmm. a vehicle and you buy it and then the job yeah. is done. It's about how I get to know you better, how I get to continuously learn you over time, how I, I learn your preferences and when you want what. Um, that's the personalization level that we think about from start to finish. That's fantastic. And uh, what's our role in all of that? What's the role of cloud? <laughs> the role of cloud? Um, it, it can be a lot, and we could talk <laughs> about this for hours. Love this topic. Let me give you one specific example. Software-defined vehicle advancements. My favorite topic. I know. It's your favorite topic. How did I know? This is why I brought it up. But you see it every day. Customers are using cloud technologies in both the design, the development, and the testing of applications that are going on to the vehicle, but in also how they're going to scale those applications globally yes. and rapidly. Yes. Um, so scale is key and real time is key. And that's the reality that we're seeing come to life. In the end, customers will benefit. Customers will benefit from greater innovation, faster, and ultimately, this really drives that customer personalization yeah. and helps drive and improve sustainability. Yeah, absolutely. And all the dots come, you know, in the right place. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Wendy. That was just awesome to have your expert point of view on what's going on. So Likewise. thank you so much. Likewise, Stefano. And thank you for the incredible work you're doing to help accelerate industry transformation. Thank you. Thank you. We are having a lot of fun. Let's test drive some ideas about Rivian's introduction of a fleet management system. First, Rivian's Fleet OS can provide a native layer of fleet management all across the vehicle life cycle, purchase, operate, and sell for both commercial and passenger vehicles. Next, have a clean sheet and vertically integrated mindset. If you have customers that demand connectivity in the middle of the desert, you have the opportunity to take care of that yourself. That's why Rivian introduced their connectivity platform, CMP. Finally, the car is ultimately just a complex IoT device. 
The feature sets, the support connectivity and OTA are applicable to other mass IoT use cases like energy management. That's a wrap. Join us again on All Things Automotive.